I uh, went to, to university initially and did history of art, but I had originally wanted to be uh, an architect. I went back to university and did a postgrad diploma in residential garden architecture and started my business 16, 17 years ago. I studied architecture in Japan and after graduating university I worked for an architect's firm in Kyoto. Then I decided to come to England and I joined Charlotte Row Garden Design. It's very important to have a design. Design space is to have a plan and a function of the space. You have to have a plan of a things to flow better in, in terms of service, but also in terms of aesthetics. We yeah, literally get into everything. Colours of walls, colours of stone, colour of, of poured concrete, furniture, every little last detail. You're not just doing design, you're actually taking the whole thing forward right through to completion. I'm a great proponent of the Society of Garden Designers, the accreditation process that designers go through just to understand drainage. And that's all about planting, good compost, good soil conditioning, managing any slopes. The drainage is really important. So this is just to demonstrate how it looks like it's solid planting. So it's a large area of planting. But what we've done is we've created a stepping stone path through ground cover right the way through. So it just looks really nice to have what's principally a, a, an entrance way and a car park done in a really plantily way with good drainage. It slightly slopes towards the street, which is very important with all the floods that people are having in London at the moment, and a lot of planting. There was a moment Charlotte and I started to establish kind of our style in terms of design. And after that point, it was quicker to design because we know exactly what needed to be done. But also our garden started to win lot of our ward in the industry. My highlight would be winning a gold at Chelsea because it's like winning an Olympic, Olympic medal and it's what you strive to do. We did a conceptual garden which meant it was outside our normal remit of work which was good. I wanted to do that and the concept was very important to me. It was marking the 100th anniversary of the outbreak of the First World War. In future we want to start thinking about more into ecological point of view, sustainable garden. As a team, we want to learn more. <laughs>